good job, boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Roman Reigns taking substantial break from WWE, not dropping the title anytime soon. Shock heel turn in other wrestling news by none other than WrestleMania. Is this a surprise? Absolutely not. This is uh what WWE has kind of found themselves uh in like situational wise uh they renegotiated uh roman's contract i want to say a few years back well he was able to renegotiate and uh yeah he doesn't have to work as many dates so i'm not surprised that he's not going to be working many dates or whatnot um so we're gonna see how all this plays out appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel and uh let's check this out it is wrestlemia here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including AEW announces its saturday show and it has wcw vibes roman reigns taking time off wwe making big changes to the championships hmm. a big title change at night of champions who is triple h's top guy who's competing in the men's money in the bank ladder match imperium fourth member and much more. That's a lot. A whole lot. Our top story today looks at AEW announcing a Saturday night show. A top of today's news is the announcement that AEW is launching a new wrestling show on Saturday night. The show was made official during day three of the television upfronts, where TV networks work to woo advertisers for new and existing programs. Here's an excerpt from the official press release. Hmm. As announced at the Warner Brothers Discovery 2023 upfront presentation, we hear rumors about this. will launch a second night of professional wrestling with a new two-hour series, AEW Collision, starting on Saturday, June 17th, live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 times CT on TNT Drama. Hmm. The debut episode will be called The Second Coming, which should have CM Punk fans on high alert. And also mm. check out the logo for this. It doesn't look very, very similar to WCW Nitro. I mean, it's not a Monday Night War, but it's still a war. Next up, AEW changing its... And now uh, here's the thing about this. Could this work? Possibly. A Saturday Night Wrestling show, though? That's... That's going to be interesting. Saturday Night? Um, it's going to be interesting if they can pull in any viewers on a Saturday night at 7... Well, 7 my time, 7 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Uh, I don't know. That's going to be to remain to be seen. Could it possibly work? Yeah, but are they going to get rid of... They need to get rid of... If that's the case, they need to just get rid of Rampage because Rampage is not it. Because that means you'll have a show on Wednesday, Dynamite, then Friday, Rampage, then Saturday Collision, that's three wrestling shows from the same company. If anything, they need to get rid of Rampage. They need to get rid of Rampage if they're going to do that, but I don't I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that. It's roster split. Is AEW changing its rumored roster split? Originally, there was talk of a soft roster split when Collision debuted, but now Fightful Select is reporting talents are expected a hard brand split with the exception of many AEW champions. We've been told that there will be additional exceptions here and there. We have not learned how exactly the split will be determined, if there will be a draft, or how will that work out. Mm. However, the working plan of this week is a firm brand split, with some rare exceptions. Who do you think will end up on each roster? Let us know in the comments down below. Well, the rumors are that CM Punk was probably going to head AEW Collision, because um, there's still some people on the Dynamite side of things, they're not trying to work with Punk, even though it would probably be best for business money-wise, but you know how that goes. People in their feelings, yada, yada, yada. So I can see CM Punk on that side of the of the brand um, if they do a roster split, which I'm okay with because not enough people get shown on one show anyway. Well, even though they have Rampage, but nobody really watches Rampage like that. So I'm I'm okay with them doing that. It's just, once again, is it going to get seen because they have three shows now? Unless, once again, unless they get rid of uh, Rampage. Next up, major news on Roman Reigns. Oh, boy. Firstly, is Roman taking time off? And it appears Possibly. that Roman Reigns could be taking some significant time off after SummerSlam. Zero News recently tweeted, Reigns will be on a hiatus post-SummerSlam, but will still be around, just more minimal. Royal Rumble to WrestleMania 42 will be more full-time-ish again. 
Reigns will work Saudi in October, and early plan of him working Survivor Series 2, unsure doing what though. Oh, now, this no. isn't the first time fans have heard the Tribal Chief was taking an extended vacation around oh, SummerSlam. Man. However, what does this mean for Reigns' run as Undisputed Champion remains to be seen. Oh, man. Next and here's, here's, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I've been seeing rumors. I've been seeing it. I, maybe some of you guys have seen it. I do think, obviously, um, Roman and Solo is going to lose at Night of Champions. And maybe uh, the Usos could, will probably be the call, the reason that happens. I I think there's been a poster floating around. Don't know how true it is. It's probably not official, obviously. But the poster showing Solo Sokoa and Roman versus the Usos. Now, that sounds like a fun match. But once again, Roman still has the titles. So leaves me to believe if that does happen, if that's the route they're going with, Roman's not defending those titles for quite some time. I can tell you this now. He's not defending those titles. If that the rumor is true, which sucks, which is awful. <laughs> and it's just like, damn, bro. More and more, it looks like Roman should have dropped those titles at, at WrestleMania because you can still have these type of matches without the championship being involved and they still be high profile important matches because the bloodline story will still be going on but i don't know those are just the rumors hopefully that's not true but i don't know it, it could be next up wwe confirms roman reigns will appear at money in the bank while Roman's schedule may be slowing down after SummerSlam, the WWE has confirmed the Tribal Chief will appear at the WWE's upcoming Money in the Bank PLE. WWE today announced that undisputed Universal Champion Roman Reigns will appear live at the O2 in London for SmackDown on Friday, June 30th and Money in the Bank on Saturday, July 1st, 2023. It appears WWE wants to put on a star-studded show for its upcoming UK PLE, which should hence be Roman's appearance. A great show. He did appear at last year's Money in the Bank PLE, which invites speculation why he's appearing this year. Yeah. Does the WWE want to impress UK fans? Does this have something to do with AEW running a stadium show two months later? Could it be something else? Yeah, Next I don't up, know. WWE makes big changes to championships. The WWE also made a major change to Roman Reigns' status as champion. Ringside News noted that WWE.com has changed Roman's previous listing as WWE Champion and Universal Champion. A recent update to the website has consolidated Reigns' status into one listing as the undisputed WWE <laughs> Universal Champion. That's this change crazy. suggests that his two belts now represent a single championship instead of two separate ones. In addition, the <laughs> WWE now lists Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn as undisputed tag team champions rather than Raw and SmackDown tag team champions. Next up, a big title that, change. That's so confusing, bro. They, I get, I, I get it. But if that's the case, you might as well just merge the damn belts. Because as it looks, it looks like the Universal Championship, the WWE Championship, and the new World Heavyweight Championship is in the company. And two of them are on SmackDown. Exclusively. Supposedly. So, why don't you just merge the belts? Which they should have did from the jump. When Roman won it against Brock, he, they should have merged the belts. If you were going to do that, and then you could have created, either merged the belts, and then you could have bought back the, you know, the World Heavyweight Championship for Raw or something. I don't know. There, there, there's, there's things they could have did, but it's still, even though you can call it that, bro, it's, it's the Universal Championship. One is blue, and then the OG WWE Championship. I'm sorry. WWE Championship, its lineage, it's, it speaks for itself. So it should always be separate from the Universal Championship. The Universal Championship lineage is not really that good. The only person that's really made it somewhat credible is Roman. Everybody else, meh. It's been meh. That, that belt has, no, it's been tarnished. <laughs> so if anything, what they should do and i wish they would do is just retire the universal championship nobody's taking it from him if i'm roman i retire the damn belt retire it just retire it bro nobody's taking that you can retire it at a thousand days retire it at a thousand days and then just keep the wwe championship and then we it makes it much simpler why not retire it no one's taking that off of you simple I would retire it. Or they could have did what a, whole, a lot of us was hoping Cody wins at WrestleMania 
And then he retired the Universal Championship because that's not the belt he won in anyway. It was the WWE Championship. But I think if anybody, I think they just need to retire the Universal Championship, lead the WWE Championship on Roman, and we go from there. Change at Night of Champions. It's so confusing. It's interesting speculation from Big Wrestling Experience, the former Boobs of Wrestling, as the Twitter account reports a wrestler may drop their title at Night of Champions and that this could lead to a bigger path in his career. Huh. Who do you think they're referring to? Let us know in the comments down below. I just don't see Mustafa Ali, even though I know why they're doing this. We know why they're doing this. I just, Mustafa's not. I just don't see it. If they did that, Here's the thing. It would have made sense if they had been booking Ali as someone credible, but he just started recently getting wins. He has been a joke, a JAG for months, even under Triple H's reign. For the most part, he's been a damn joke. So now we're supposed to take him seriously all of a sudden, conveniently, right before Night of Champions, because he's won a couple of matches and now. He earned the right to face Gunther. And Gunther has obviously made the Intercontinental Championship one of the best championships in WWE. The dude has great matches. Doesn't He doesn't even need to cheat to win. Dude comes off legit. He has made that belt so prestigious. And I love to see where it's at. This is one thing I can say. I give kudos to Vince because Vince was the one to start this run with him so I will give him that dude looks fantastic with the belt so I'm only thinking it should be somebody that's really got some got like got momentum behind him he got a lot of momentum behind him and people want to see it happen and then Gunther drops it to that up and coming baby face that has this momentum behind him and now people can get, can get behind him you know what I'm saying? The new baby face that's the new Intercontinental Champion. Not saying Ali couldn't, you know, be that person, but I just think for months we've just been seeing him get jobbed out. So I don't know. We'll see if that is the case, but I don't know if I would be okay with Ali just winning because of where they're going to be at that night of champions. You know what I mean? Next up, who is Triple H's top guy? But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe, subscribe and hit to that if you haven't already. wrestling videos and follow Ryan. us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now, the WWE is flush with top tier talent, not to mention younger stars coming into their own, but who is Triple H's top guy? While names like Roman Reigns, Gunther, Edge, AJ Styles and Bobby Lashley seem like good candidates, Better Wrestling Experience recently tweeted about who will win the World Heavyweight Championship at Night of Champions. To clear all the commotion, no decision on who's winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Seth is the number one guy for H, but the story is what matters. I said it a while back, plans to fill the void that Reigns will lose soon with other huge names, so expect a surprising Night of Champions. Hmm. It'll be great, trust me. A Triple H is all about letting stories play out over time, all right, which we'll see. means Seth will have to chase Styles for the title. Does this mean fans should expect a Styles heel turn with the OC helping the Phenomenal One keep the belt? Next up, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm telling you right now, everyone's predicting Seth, but I think because technically I think AJ is a face. I think what will be perfect and will be a good way to start off a feud. And now we got a chase because we all think Seth is just gonna waltz in there and win it. It's 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 written for him to win it in a sense. But what if he doesn't? What if AJ Styles, being, being AJ Styles, has this faction and he uses the OC to help him win it? Now, there's people going to cheer for it because they're going to want to see AJ Styles as champ again. But it'll be very interesting because now we'll definitely know he's a heel. And now we got a, a, a major program on Monday Night Raw to see AJ Styles go at it against Seth Rollins and Seth Rollins trying to overcome the odds. <laughs> he, you know what I'm saying? And how he's going to overcome the odds. I think that would be okay. I don't think you need to give it to Seth right now. Seth deserves it, but I think AJ could definitely benefit from it because when's the last time he's held a major championship? The dude, if anybody also deserves it, is AJ. And I think him as a heel, which probably will work, 
I think that would be interesting. I would be okay with because we know Seth is gonna get it, but let there be a chase for him to get it because it just seemed like as soon as you knew whoever Seth was facing, it didn't matter. He was gonna win. Now it has that little hmm. How's he gonna get it? How's he gonna get the title? I'm all for AJ winning and turning heel. Who's competing at the men's Money in the Bank ladder match? The Money in the Bank will be here soon, and the stakes are bigger than ever thanks to the addition of a new World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Consequently, the WWE Universe is more invested than usual as to who will compete, but do we have any idea who the WWE is considering? Probably According Cody. to Better Wrestling Experience, the WWE oh, has Knight. a lineup including Damian Priest, okay. LA Knight, yep. Bobby Lashley, okay. Matt Riddle, Cody Rhodes, Gunther, mm. Finn Balor, Chad Gable, and Edge. Ooh. Who would you want to see capture the highly coveted? Oh, I like that. That is, if that's the list, sign me up, Damian Priest. Love what he's been doing. I'm all for. Uh, let me go look at the names again. Damian Priest, I'm all for it. LA Knight, you know he's gonna be a crowd favorite. Bobby Lashley, that could be fun. Matt Riddle, hmm, I don't really too much care, but whatever. Cody Rhodes, you knew that was gonna happen. Gunther. Now this is, I'm okay. If Gunther's in it, then that means he's probably going to drop the title at some point. Because you don't really need Gunther in there. He's already Intercontinental Champion. So it doesn't come off believable. He's going to be Intercontinental Champion and Money in the Brain Briefcase winner. So at some point, maybe he does end up dropping it to Mustafa. Possibly. Um, but I'm I'm all fine for him being in there. Finn Balor, Damian Priest, that can be very interesting. Chad Gable definitely could have a good showing. And Edge. The guy that won the very first money in the bank, that's going to be, oh, that's going to be good. This is going to be a good one. I don't know. It's really out of Cody. <laughs> it's really fucking Cody, bro. But the only problem is if you have Cody win this match, does that ruin his stock with the fans? Because you know people are going to want LA Knight to win it. You know people are going to probably want Gunther to win it. You know people are going to want Edge to win it. For sure, people are going to want Edge to win it. So I don't know. It's going to be very interesting if this is the rumored list. Who would you want to see capture the highly coveted Ooh. Money in the Bank briefcase? Do you think they'll be successful in cashing it in? Next up, Jerry Lawler is still dealing with the effects of a stroke. Damn. How is Jerry the King Lawler doing since suffering a stroke last February? While the Hall of Famer made a video appearance during the Hall of Fame induction for Andy Kaufman, Jerry's good friend and former broadcast partner Jim Ross says the wrestling legend is still dealing with the effects of the stroke. Good old JR discussed this on his Grillin' JR podcast, explaining, I talked to Lola just the other day. He's still struggling with his health. He's got good doctors and they think they'll pinpoint it at a lot of the issues, but he's not out of the woods yet as far as getting back to a good degree of health. Yeah. As always, when we talk, his voice starts off a little bit weak and then it gets stronger as he talks and we laugh and we tell stories with each other. Yeah. This isn't the first health scare for the mm -hmm. king as he suffered a heart attack during a 2012 episode of Raw. Yeah. We continue to send our well wishes for Jerry course, Lawler for course. a fast and full recovery. Of course, Next man. Next up, Prayers major heel turns Jerry. coming. It's been uh, sometimes Jerry said king that Lawler. things happen in threes and fans may see that with three heel turns rumored to be in the works. Better Wrestling Experience recently reported that while a timetable is unknown, fans should expect to see Bianca Belair and the Street Profits mm, turn heel. I did. While Bianca has been crushing it as women's champion, the Street Profits seem to have lost a step in the last year, so perhaps a heel turn can help energize their careers. Mm, Next up, an Imperium fourth member. I'm okay with that. The question is, how does it happen? How does she turn heel? How does it happen? I think Bianca needs to be heel. It's time for her to be. She's been a baby face for quite some time. She needs to be a champion as a heel too. She cheats to win. She cheats to win. The question is on who? Because Oscar's already a heel. So it may have to be another opponent. The question is who? But whatever she do, she cheats to win. That's how you start it. You start it right there and you go from there. Have the street profits say, screw it. They, you know, they feel like they're not getting the respect they deserve. Have them go heel. Have them attack a babyface team like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Have them do that. They'll get instant heel heat. Let's do it. Let's freshen it up for them. I'm down. Remember, is Gunther gaining another ally for his Imperium faction? Well, rumor has it Imperium could add a fourth member. 
The Twitter account Better Wrestling Experience is reporting former NXT UK champion Ilya Dragunov is being mm-hmm. eyed to join the Imperium later. There's no word on when Dragunov could join, and the news that account be has had a remarkable number of scoops lately. Cautions fans to remember plans are always subject to change. That could be interesting. Now that pairing. Imperium is on Raw, it'll be interesting to see whether the faction competes for the undisputed tag team championship. Whatever the case, expect more focus on factions. As BWE also noted, H loves his factions. Mm-hmm. He's working to find a new gem within these formations, mm-hmm. trying to recreate the success of the Undisputed Era. So expect a lot of upgrades in groups and strong showing moving forward. Mm-hmm. Next up, Maxine Dupree wants this NXT star in a faction. Maxine Dupree has an eye on current NXT superstar, but it's not a man. She wants to add her Maxima Male Models faction to. During a chat with WWE Diwoch, she noted, I feel like we have so many female superstars that with my guidance, we could just take to the top. I think there's so many throughout NXT, but also throughout SmackDown and Raw. Hmm. There's one person on a wish list, and that's Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton looks so good in her gold gear on Tuesday, and I think that gold gear would look really good. As we recently mm. reported, WWE has been paying closer attention to the faction due to the universe responding well to them at live events. Yeah. Next up to WWE's unplanned title change. Title changes are often planned out far in advance, but that wasn't the case when Becky Lynch teamed up with her idol Lita to capture the Women's Tag Team Championship from Damage Control. The man recently chatted with Mark Andrews on his My Love Letter to Wrestling show, explaining that she was surprised when she learned that she and Lita were going to win the tag titles. Lynch didn't elaborate on what the details were, but apparently there were no plans for her and Lita to win the belts. Oh, wow. Nonetheless, it was a fantastic experience for Lynch. She disclosed how Lita had become a great friend and a mentor, and what a thrill it was to her. I was standing side by side as an equal about to go capture the tank titles. If you're telling your teenage self that's going to happen when you're older, your teenage stuff is going to slap you across the face and tell you to be realistic. And finally, what will the name of the... I'm not going to lie to you, that was a shock, but... Once again, it kind of hurt damage control because they just got it and then they lost it. And I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they just lost it and you just on a random raw. I'm just like. And then they end up losing it. <laughs> so I was just like, uh, OK. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's a cool moment for Becky, but. Make it make sense, coach. <laughs> WWE Endeavor Group B. And last but not least, wondering what the WWE and Endeavor Group will be called after their pending merger? Well, according to CNBC, the group is adopting the name TKO Group Holdings. They have it, folks. The TKO wildest news stories and Group Holdings, need okay. To know. Be sure to leave your comments All right, down. That's an interesting name. Very interesting. But yeah, I am very, very intrigued to see how things are going to play out. Is Roman Reigns going to actually have a match for the titles at SummerSlam, or is he going to be possibly facing the Usos? The rumors are going on with that. How things are going to play out with money in the bank? How's that going to set up into things? Like, it's, 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 there's some interesting stuff that's going to happen at Night of Champions that I am looking forward to because I think we're going to really see some stuff, some special stuff, and I hope we do. Um, I'm looking forward to this show. Because I think it's going to be a good showing. And I think it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be like, all right, some moving pieces will be set into motion. So we'll kind of have an idea where things will be going after Night of Champions. And then it's going to be interesting to see how things play out going into Money in the Bank, SummerSlam, and the rest of the pay-per-views for the rest of the year. All the way back to WrestleMania. Will Roman be champion still then? I hope not. But... Most likely, yeah. So comment down below. Let me know, man. Uh, how do y'all feel about uh, what's going on with the product? Who would you like to win money in the bank? Do you think that uh, Roman will still uh, be champion uh, after SummerSlam? Do you think he's going to drop it at SummerSlam? Or do you think he's going to hold it all the way to WrestleMania? You know what I'm saying? Do you think they're going to have a match with Roman and Solo versus the Usos? That's the rumor going. And how do y'all feel about Bianca turning heel and uh, Street Profits turning heel? Just let me know, you know, your thoughts and opinions on, on most of these topics and subjects in this video. But I appreciate all the love and support. Roll 250K. I'm still the YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.